Well, when the story of a legendary Hollywood feud between two stars, Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, proved popular, FX decided to make a limited series about another dispute. Feud Capote versus the Swans is a story set right here in New York City in the 1960s when stories by writer Truman Capote caused a sensation after they were published in Esquire magazine. The tales were labeled as fiction, but a number of rich and powerful people recognized themselves in those pages and they were not amused. Entertainer reporter Sandy Canyon is here now to explain. Sandy. Liz, no they weren't. The series was introduced at the Museum of Modern Art last week and members of the cast told me the late Truman Capote surely would have approved, loved the glamorous premiere of this FX show. The writer craved attention, you see, wanted to become famous and would have adored the fact that more than 40 years after his death, well, he is still being remembered in feud, Capote versus the Swans. We made New York the capital of the world. The feud takes place in the lost world of Manhattan 60 years ago. At the center stands a famous writer, Truman Capote, and the rich ladies he calls swans. Oh my. All of them would come to regret telling him so much after he published stories about them and their misadventures. We tell him everything, even the awful things we've all done to each other. When things like that are put in ink, forever. I don't think you can recover from that. Diane Lane plays one of the swans, Chloe Sevigny another. The swans at least we're depicting were a bit trapped in a way. Trapped because despite their wealth, their opportunities were limited. They needed love. They needed recognition. Because their husbands had tuned them out and they found comfort in their relationship with the gay writer. This exchange felt really pure and new and fresh. And so after giving herself wholly to him, the betrayal just cut too deeply. Why would you want to hurt them? This is what a writer does. This is bloody and true and real. It's a story of uh, broken promises, uh, failed potential. It's about alcoholism. It's about genius. It's a story about a genius consumed by alcohol and ambition and what happens when powerful people get angry. So it's just universal and it'll be here for the rest of time. And there's also a lot of humor. It's a lot of heartbreak. A lot of reasons to watch the second season of Ryan Murphy's Feud. The first two episodes are on FX tonight and will stream on Hulu tomorrow. Both are owned by the same parent company as ABC7.